Hey, what is up guys, Benny here, and in today's video, as you can tell by the title and by the big glove size up here, it's gonna be about glove size, um, some basic facts about what gloves has to choose, and kind of just anything I can do to help you guys choose the right glove size for if you're playing a different position, you never played catcher before, you never played infield before. If you need a new glove, this is gonna be the ultimate guide to help you out. Um, and I'm also gonna teach you the difference between a mitt and a glove, which is very simple, but I do get that question quite a bit. So, first thing, to know about glove size, okay? For, for everything besides first base, even, even for baseball, besides catcher pretty much, um, glove size does not need to correlate with how old you are or how big your hand is. If, you know, some people think, think you know, if they're using an 11 inch glove when they're 12 years old, by the time they're 20 or 30, they'll need to use a 12 or 13 inch glove, or if they're, you know, have a small hand, they need to use a smaller glove and then grow to a bigger hand, bigger glove. That is not the case. I wrote it kind of small up here, but it's important. Position matters, not age or hand size. So, infield, outfield, first base, catcher. These are the positions. Infield's gonna include pitcher as well. Write that down. Pitcher is is in infield as well. Okay, so infield, 11 inch to 12.25. That's like the pro range, okay. But for different spots in the infield, you might want a smaller or a bigger glove. The benefit of a smaller glove is it's going to be able to make you have quicker transfers. You're not going to be you're not going to be digging around in the pocket trying to find where the ball is. If you have a this is an 11 and a half inch glove versus if you had a 13 inch glove. If you catch a ball, catch like a hot line or a third base or whatever, 13 inch glove, you're gonna say, where's the ball, where's the ball? 11 inch glove, which is really small for the base, you're gonna reach in and know where the ball is at all times. So, 11 inch to maybe 11.5, 11.75, that's gonna be more for second baseman, okay? And then short stops are gonna be more in the middle, like if I do 2B short stop, 3B. So it's kind of a sliding range on whether you want, you know, a big glove for a second baseman could be a small glove for a third baseman. A small glove for a third baseman could be a big glove for either of the two, but it could also be, you know, a 12.25 is the biggest infield glove you're gonna to wanna to use. You're not gonna to wanna to use a 12.5 inch glove in the infield. This is what players like Chris Bryant use, a 12.25, to give you a little bit of extra reach at third base. But a 12.25, for example, wouldn't work at second base unless you're extremely comfortable with it. You're gonna want a smaller glove at second base. The middle infield, you want a smaller glove to help you with the quick transfer turn double plays. Third base, you're playing so close, you have to have quick reactions. You need a little bit of extra length on the glove to help make sure you really can snag you know, every line drive, every hard ground ball coming at you. So pitcher can really be anywhere in here. The, the median size for pitchers, I'd say probably most pitchers use 11 and a half or a 12 inch glove. This is a 11.75 inch pitcher's glove right here. As you can see, nice, good pocket, hides the ball well. You're gonna wanna close up with a pitcher as well, but you don't want, you probably won't wanna use an 11 inch glove pitcher. There are pitchers that use 12.25 or even slightly bigger depending on their hand size. Once you get up to the big league level, like 99% of players, hand size doesn't, doesn't matter. But if you do a guy like Miguel Castro for us, He's, I think, like 6'6 or something. He's extremely tall and he has massive hands. He's gonna use a little bit of a bigger glove because he has the hand size to control it and he's a pitcher. So if he was using, if he was in the infield even, he wouldn't wanna use a glove that big. So next up, outfield, you have a little bit of a, of a smaller range and you're gonna wanna start anywhere around 12.5 inches and then go anywhere up to 13 plus depending on how serious of a ball player you are. We do offer a 14 inch softball model um, but that's going to be for softball, and you wouldn't you wouldn't ever see a um, a major league player really using a 14 inch glove unless they really had massive hands or they really wanted to. You're not going to get as much control. A 12.75 to 13 inch glove is going to be pretty ideal for most you know high school or college level athletes. They're going to use 12.75 to 13, just like college level infield. The average size is going to be 11 and a half inches. That's going to be the average college size. And so once again, guys, just one more time to reiterate, you know, uh, like these gloves, different, all different sizes, but 
the hand size, your hand size doesn't matter. If you're 5'10 or you're 6'3, you can still use this 11 and a half inch glove. It's not like when you're 5'10, you're gonna use an 11, and when you're 6'5, you're gonna need to use a, uh, a 14 inch or anything like that. Um, it's really based on position. So we have infield and pitcher and outfield, and first base and catcher is where we get into mitts. Very, very basic question I always get is what's like, what's a, people call it a mitt. People call it like first base glove, I want an infield mitt. Those would be both incorrect. Not like it's a big deal or anything, but just to clarify, glove has the fingers, as you can see. I don't know if, let me see if you can get a good angle here. If I go like this, there we go. Fingers, as you can see. Catcher and first base is like a mitten, a mitt. Let me get a good angle here. See, catcher, this is a catcher's mitt right here. 33 inch catcher's mitt, and it's a mitt. No back fingers. First base mitt here, Justin Bohr model, no back fingers. Um, it's just like a, a, a smooth mitt. So for first base, um, I like a little bit of a smaller first base mitt because we, we can go up to 13 and a half inches. This is a, which one is this? This is a 13 inch right here. It's a pretty good size. Once you get up to 13 and a half, you're going to lose a little bit of your control, um, you know, picking the ball, which is what you really want of, unless you feel very confident. Like, once again, Hand size will not matter unless you're six foot eight or something like that, and you have massive hands and you can really control a 14 inch glove. The thing is, if you have average size hands, like 99% like of us are gonna have, if you're five five to six foot, you're not gonna have the hand size to control a, like, like a, a, to properly control a very big glove. So I like a smaller one, 12.75, 12.5, 13. Um, Pros, this is going to be the pro range as well. Some pros go 12.5, 13. Occasionally a pro will go 13, 13.5. Um, but yeah, mitts, catcher's mitts. This is where I used to always catch. I always prefer to 32 and a half. Just because I like the smallest uh, catcher's mitt possible for fastest transfers. Um, if you have a really, really good arm. And then, by the way, the, once again, these are all my opinions. But this is just what I think works best. If you have a really good arm and you don't really care about the, the extra like split second of being able to find the ball, you can go with like a 35 inch mitt. Um, I think some catchers that maybe aren't as good defensively would like a big a bigger catcher mitt. It gives you a little bit of extra of extra area to, to catch, you know, to catch that pitch out of the zone. Um, but once again, it's going to be, and I'm sure there's a ton of good catchers that use off the 35s. I, I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. But catching that extra bit out of the zone. You might want that little extra inch or two of room, but I don't think it's really needed that much. Um, I prefer the smaller enough, but you can go up to 34, 35. Um, I would say if you're like a high school or college kid or you know before a little bit before high school, you wouldn't want to go anything th further than a 34. That's going to be pretty big. A 35 inch mitt is what some MLB players use, um, and it is a pretty big size mitt. So these are all sizes I would kind of Try not to go past if you are like in high school or college. I wouldn't go past the 13 inch glove if you're a high school player. I wouldn't go past the 12. If you're a high school player, I wouldn't go past the you know a, a 11 and a half inch you know 12 inch glove for an infielder really. But um, that's it. Glove sizes right there. You can take a screenshot of this when you're building the glove or whatever. On the website, it also will show um, a bunch of good a bunch of good information. But one more thing to reiterate, guys, as I said it before, I don't know if you can see that good up there, but your glove size, once you get into high school and you kind of have a, a specialized position, your glove size needs to be based on the position. You can't be using, you, know, you can, but college coaches, not gonna, not, if you're good enough, they're, they're not going to care, but you're not going to be able to play successful outfield with an 11-inch glove, and you're not going to be able to play top level sh shortstop with a, you know, a, a 13 inch glove. You're just not gonna get that quick transfer. So um, that's the end of the video guys. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them down below and I will see you guys in the next video.